Greg Morgenthaler and the Navy equipment staff may be the most important people working with the Navy football program you've never heard of before. I mean, I, I kind of look at us as uh, my staff and I as kind of jack of all trades. I think there's a lot of things that go into our job that people don't really realize. They just see a team playing on the field. In their roles, the group's responsible for making sure the players are dressed from head to toe in the right gear, help move all the equipment to and from each game, and are there in a pinch to fix any snafus that may arise during practice. My feeling is you look as good as you play, you play as good as you look, and if you look good, you play good. And, and if everything's ready and for the coaches and staff, nobody needs to worry about you know anything, then they can concentrate and focus on winning the game. It's just everything behind the scenes, I guess. Uh, Getting to be around the players and the coaches and the staff, it's just not something that everybody gets to see every day. As college football uniforms have evolved, so has the equipment staff's roles. Morgenthaler played an instrumental role with Under Armour designing the Fly Navy uniforms, a process that takes nearly a year and a half from start to finish. We've had such a great relationship with our partners at Under Armour. They have really taken everything to a new level with us. That's one of the things I love is getting to see players' reactions when they see things like that for the first time. Though the Army-Navy game is in December, the uniforms come to Annapolis months earlier. I've always said my favorite day as far as Army-Navy and these special uniforms is release day. You finally get to stop hiding what you've had to continually get ready for even months prior. We love the reveal because for the first uh, couple months we sit behind a closed door with a sign on it and have to have people knock it and every time they come in. Another key part to the specialty jerseys are the patches each player wears. Uh, this is a Brendan Looney patch that uh, every year one of the captains will wear. With more than 200 to choose from, the patches give each player a sense of individuality when they head onto the field at MetLife Stadium. There's a variety of reasons why guys will pick patches. Some just like the colors because they think they're pretty. Others, they want to be a Marine, so they put a Marine patch on there. Though the Army-Navy game jerseys have been released, the work is not done yet for Morgenthaler and his staff. The crew's busy sizing helmets, stitching patches, and packing the truck for the three and a half hour drive up to New Jersey. And ultimately, if you don't notice Morgenthaler and the staff come game day, it means a job well done. Being at the Naval Academy is a special place. I have a great group of staff. For Navy Sports, I'm Phil Bergman.